do 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 let's do this let's do this what's up what's up what's up let me make sure everything's are working make sure i can hear myself let me know how things is looking let me know how things are sounding because you never know with technology but we're here we're at the toy table yes. What's up? i hear myself boom hello one and all how are y'all today uh y'all been in here for a while mary triple seven what's up luca how you doing austin jadari i'm not sure if i said that right or not i'm sorry if i messed that up what's up chuck Click 93, what's up, Dragon? Jeanette, of course, Chuck again. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see here. Oh, there's Anthony B. What's up? Michael Glue Sniffer. What's up? So, uh, yeah, we're going to be opening things tonight. I've got some, I got some Zanini pins. I got some mail. I got some more mail. We're going to open some stuff up tonight. We also have a figure here that people have asked me um, several times. I've explained it, what got me into collecting. So I have my actual figure here that started it all. So what's up, Chris? So yeah, that's what we're going to do tonight. That's what we're going to do. And I also got a new, uh, I got a new, I got a new Hot Wheel. Check out BB-8 right there. Ooh, that is a sweet looking Dollar General store. I would never in a million years would have dreamed I would have found this at a Dollar General store. And they actually had a Chewy and a Darth Vader car and a Ray car. It was crazy. What's up, Carl? Caveman, how you doing? Uh, the zombie pops, uh, I am, I'm about 70, 30. Yes. I like unusual pops. I do like unusual pops. So of the transformers fig, I have zero. Well, I take it back. I got bumblebee, but it's a three a, I have zero transformer stuff. There's only one I've really had my eye on. And it's the Megatron with the tattered cape. But uh, it's always 50 bucks, so. <laughs> I actually am not. I'm, uh, I'm Dr. Pepper in it tonight. This is literally the last thing in my fridge. The fridge is empty. I have to restock the fridge. And I'm going to restock it with those Mountain Dews. So I had to get rid of this so I could restock. Uh, yeah, right, Chris? Right? Yeah, the zombie Hulk looks really good. What's up with you, Luca? Uh, Pokemon Pops. Do I think, do I have a Pokemon Pop? I, um, I think I do. I think I got, I think I got one, but I think it's packed up. Yeah. That's what I think. Nice, Alex. I've got those pre-ordered as well. Um, yeah. Can't wait for uh, some of the ones I've already got ordered and paid for to come in. <laughs> Mary, mini fridges, that's the way to go. Uh, the remodel is yes and no. I'm still in the process of taking everything out of the secondary room, which was my studio, which if you see me on Saturdays when I'm down at the toy bench, that's where a lot of the stuff is going. And actually I've got, I brought a whole bunch more stuff down over the past week. So um, it's, it's a slow process. What's up, Bill? <laughs> Old runny eggs. <laughs> That's a cool name. I like that. <laughs> um, I think I've got a Pikachu. I think I do. 
the uh, Target exclusive, I think it's either I either have it, had it, or gave it away in a mystery box. It's one of those three. Yeah, the, the uh, three three eight Optimus, I think it's going to look really uh, sick. I personally, uh, Bumblebee's my guy. That's the one I I like, uh, and I really like the figure. I don't really care about you know getting an Optimus, but it looks really cool, and I know my buddy Jetta is probably going to do a review video on one, so and it'll be awesome. Uh, Jet, yes, at some point. Jeanette, it will happen again. I just don't know when because um, they haven't actually opened up the common areas yet at the mall. Um, I have, I still have not even been to the mall. Um, I may go. I may go this weekend. I don't know. I'm still, you know, I'm pretty selective on where I'm still going. Nice, Robin. In game cap, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, Chris, yeah. Ooh, yes. Dioramas for Hot Wheels, that'd be cool. Uh, yes, I do like the minis. And speaking of minis, let's just go ahead and get this. I already opened this up. Um, I was gonna, you know, I was gonna wait a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this out. And I'm going to see, um, I'm going to see, I'm going to see if he shows up because this is really cool. There's a couple people that are normally in the chats that I'd actually have some stuff from. So I want to wait and see who all pops in. We'll give it because we got started a little early too. So, so I'm going to, that, that's that one. Um, and I do got uh, this piece right here. And we got the Zanini for May. Uh, you know, it could be thunder and rain. I didn't hear it, but it could be. Because we're supposed to be getting some rain. But Pius, what's up, buddy? But yeah, at some point, I'm really hoping, um, like I said, I've not been to the mall. Um, speaking of, the, the three-pack is uh calling me right now so i'm gonna answer it so we'll uh we'll, we'll just do this since we're doing a live right now we'll uh we'll just get everybody on here what what what's up hey wait a minute what's up how you doing we're uh we're live right now oh. we're we're live uh, see look we're live what are we uh <laughs> you'll say we you'll say hi to everybody So you can see that the that Ryan and Kent they're out hunting. So so they have excuses. They're out hunting right now. I'm hunting Chick Fil A and a milkshake. Okay, Chick Fil A and a milkshake. Yeah. Kent's got a massive stuff. I'm not even gonna tell you what Kent's got because he's probably got 20 videos coming out. But I'm looking at it right now, and uh, yeah, it's it's pretty wicked cool. It's a true story. I'm coming to Kent uh, Kent's house to rob him. He, he got like 20 boxes. <laughs> Legit. Uh, uh, I forgot it was Tuesday because we had that whole day off thing. I get it. I understand. You know, but yeah, we're just sitting here uh, chatting away, going to open up some mail, and you know, oh, now everybody can see Kent's face. There's Kent. Uh, this is my notification to live. Yes, this is your official notification that I'm live. That's uh, that's how you get me to show up to a live stream. You just do a call, right? Kent doesn't do notifications. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even get notifications for my own channel. <laughs> yeah, well. Hey, we're we're having right. we're, we're having some fun here, you know. We got uh It's all good. You know, so yeah. Go get your milkshake, go get your Chick-fil-A, Kent. Brother, you get to open those eighty five thousand boxes. Is that a statue? Yeah. Is that like your yeah. first statue? Uh might be my first. <laughs> this is this is guys. I hope Kent shows you this because it's a wicked cool statue. It's wicked. <laughs> Austin said. The box. Austin said hi. Everybody's uh, saying hi. By the way, Austin hello, said hi. Buddy. Subscribe to Greg Cook. Um, <laughs> All right, well, go do your stream, man. I'll catch you. Make uh, make fake accounts for Greg Cook. <laughs> <laughs> <Game of> Twenty thousand. <000. laughs> 
see you guys. He's worthy. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. See, like I've said a million times, you never know what you're going to get. Uh, three pack. Yeah, we need to do a three pack. I'll talk to him about it. Uh, Matias, I'm with you, man. I miss it too. I miss it really. Yeah, I miss it. It's um, it's it's crazy. I'm I'm pulling up some some info here because while we're waiting, oh, I didn't want that. I want the other social media. Got too much social media. Um, all right, so I will tell you what. So let me let me scroll through, and make sure there ain't nobody jumped in. That was a work call. Um, I just want to make sure. So I tell you what, we're gonna open up. Uh, we're gonna open up this Zanini back because there's some actually really cool. They've done some neat stuff here. Um, that I haven't actually uh, looked at yet, but I'm, I'm I do apologize. I've actually got the info here on my phone. My phone. Well, Anthony, we do need to, I, I have considered that. Um, I have. We just got to coordinate it. Look here, there's a, there's a bag within a bag. We got a thing in a bag. And we got another bag in a bag. And that's it. Uh, so we got, they got some new products. So we'll, we'll take a look at, I don't know what's in here. I really don't. I do like their purple bags though. Um, yeah, we, um, we need to, I need to try. I've never really hosted, you know, anything like that. We'd have to do uh, Skype which is not that big of a deal. I just need to get things set up on my end. Yeah, you Zoom for it. You just got to go through the back end with OBS and get everything set up. So, all right, that bag's opened. We're just going to open, I'm going to open up this both bags because you know me, I do like some enamel pins. Uh, what is this? What is this? Because usually there's a little card, but hey, you know what? We're going to, yeah, we're just going to look at pins. All right, what do we got here? Oh, we got a, we got, we got a pug. We got a pug. Got a pug pin. I'm not a big pug fan. Okay, okay, this is okay, this is one of the things he talked about. Yes. Okay, now it's making sense. Hang on a minute. Uh they actually created a new um I think an animal line. And that's what these are. Yeah, so um the May box, which is this one, has their complete dog collection in it. So we got dogs in this one. So we got we got a pug. We got a Siberian Husky, which that one actually looks really cool. We got a German Shepherd. Oh, Anthony, don't worry about it, brother. It's all good. It's all good, my friend. We got a Maltese. So let me know if uh, if your if your dog pops up in this. We have we we have a a green Labrador Retriever, which that one actually looks really cool. One man show, what's up? And we have, oh, no, this one's cool. We got a pit bull right there. That one looks cool. So Z Zanini, if you're into um, dogs, they actually have in the May uh, subscription, uh, we have the, the dog collection right there. So if you like uh, dogs, and want some enamel pins, Zanini box, check them out. Now this one should be the actual May box, which this little piece of paper tells you everything 
The pug is yours, Matthias. Hang on. Let me get it out. The pug is yours. The pug is yours. There he is, right there. Pug. Boom. I will put this in my car and it will be with me in case we cross paths. Uh, but the actual May, I'm not going to cheat and look at the little um, sheet of paper. Won't be surprised. Oh, heck yeah. Right there. Tasmanian devil. Right there. That's a win. That was one of my favorite um, Looney Tunes characters. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to let you guys see this one first. But I'm going to see it when I hold it up. What is that? What is that? Oh, sweet. That's really cool right there. Check it out. Eric, thank you so much for that. That's that's cool. I, the thing I love, and I'll take some out here in a minute and show them to you. I've done a couple of videos on them, but I've been wanting to do one as a live stream as well. So, all right, what's that one? Is that, oh, that's Doc Brown. At first I thought it was Speed Racer. Right there, Back to the Future, Doc Brown. I'm telling you, man, they do such a good job on these enamel pins. What's up, Ren? All right, here's the other one. Bam. Oh, yes. Heck yeah. There we go. Kratos right there. That bad boy. Yes. That one's going on the Funko jacket right there. Boom. Yes. All right, here's the, here's the last one. Boom. What the Green Lantern? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, Green Lantern right there. Boom. So now you know what's in the May subscription box. So, uh, and I'll show you here in a minute, or I'll tell you a little bit more here. But there we go. Right there, there's all the cool ones. Thank you, Wally. Appreciate that. So that Kratos, Kratos and Taz right now are my, two, that, that's, that's, those are cool ones. Heck yeah. And I'll show you this little piece of paper that comes with them. Uh, so basically in a nutshell, every Zanini box that uh, you get one of these in there, uh, the, the package. So it lets you know what you got, but I'm telling you, they do a great job on uh, these pins. So let's take uh, Kratos out. And another cool thing about them is they have this at the bottom because all their pins have a, a hole cut out right there. But the bottom of them is a reusable flap. But so there's Kratos right there. Look at that color and detail on that. That is such a cool looking pen. It's a wicked looking. Heck yeah. I've never even played this game before, but I love Kratos. I've got the quarter scale NECA uh, Kratos figure. That was my first quarter scale was Kratos. But yeah, you can put your pen back in the, uh, back in there and, seal it back up so boom there's the pug let me take the pug out and i'll show you matthias's pug out of the package but anyway so um da -da -dum. yeah there we go then i'll show you this new thing they got which i'm actually really excited for All right, there's the pug. <laughs> he does, I mean, pugs are, re, they're a very unique animal. They have really cool facial expressions. I think they do. All right, Matthias, I'm trying to get this back in the packaging. There we go. That's right, I opened it. But it's sealed back up. 
another thing that Zanini is starting is, and this is something I'm actually really excited for. So, uh, let me double check something here. Cause if it's on this, I won't, I won't. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I don't have to really read it off my phone. So what these are, they've got purple envelopes. How cool is that? I don't know what's on, I don't know what's on these, but this is really something cool. Oh, wow. Oh, this is sick. All right, so let me give you a little bit of rundown. So they've started doing uh, cards. Uh, these are going to be uh, exc nine exclusive cards each month. Uh, they've got themes from movies, TV shows, comics, games. And the cool thing about the card, yep, there it is. Um, is the So their idea behind the card is, is that uh, you can only bring like covers, but each card has QR codes so you can access the related project uh, product. And there's also a space for autographs. So you can actually take it um, to the actual uh, convention. But here's some of the cards and these look really, really good. I mean, these are just awesome looking. And then on the backs of them, you actually have the um, QR code right here and you can scan it and it goes directly to the product. And then right here, you've got a line for an autograph. So you can actually take these cards to uh, a con or a toy show or whatever. And uh, if that person related to this is gonna be there, you can actually get them to uh, autograph your card right there. That is cool. That is really cool. Uh, so they got the cards, uh, nine exclusive cards every month, which is this, is $5.99 a month. And then they've got a premium ultimate, which is all the products they have, including pins, metal lock backs, and cards for 20 bucks a month. So technically you can get the May pins and all of these cards for like 20, 20 bucks a month. So if you're into pins, I definitely, enamel pins, I definitely recommend Zanini because they really do have some great quality. Number one, their, their pins are awesome. But I'm gonna take these, oh man, these, these are thick cards. I mean, you won't be able to really tell, but that, I mean, that is a thick card, but check out that detail on that card. That is so cool. Yeah, you can do the individuals, but you can do the like a plan if you want to get uh, there. So, but yeah, it's got uh, Amazing Spider-Man number one, published Marvel Comics, published March tenth, nineteen sixty three. Stan Lee cover, Jack Kirby, Steve Dick Dicko. But like I said, you can scan the QR code, it takes you right to the product, and then right there. Imagine if if you know, like. Years ago when I met Stan Lee, if I had this, I could have got an autograph on this card and put it right back into my my sleeve and or whatever I want to keep it in. But the cards themselves, they're probably about, they almost feel plastic. I mean, they're tough, but they're probably about the thickness of about three playing cards, like real cards so they're definitely not cheap they're not cheap made cards but but yeah so one more time look at these there's those we've got wolverine that joker one looks really good right there boom so yeah definitely check out zanini see if there's um See if there's something that fits your your collection um, and go from there. But I highly recommend them. If you're into um, enamel pins, 
like uh, you know I've sort of gotten into. I would I would recommend them. And now that they got these these cards, that's a that's just another thing, cool thing to take to a con and have some fun with. So yeah, big shout out. Thank you, Zanini. Did an awesome job with those. Now I'm gonna catch up with some chats. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Can you see the Taz again? Yeah, let me show you the Taz. Make sure I... That ain't Taz, that's the dogs. Uh, Taz, where you at Taz? There's Taz. I'll take Taz out of the bag. Boom, scroll down. Uh, yeah, Wally, that Superman was really cool. There's Taz right there. It's a boom. Yeah, glue sniffer. I'm with that too. I mean, that's um, that's just something cool because you can you can customize it to what you want. You can, you know, get a subscription. You can buy the individuals. I mean. Whatever you whatever you want. It's entirely up to you, and that's the awesomeness of it. I'm trying to figure out, oh, what are we doing here? I'm trying to figure out what we're chatting about here. I see Spider-Man for 99 cents. What? Um, I don't have a Meyer. I don't. I don't. Oh, and if you saw my, um, um, oh, and if you haven't seen it yet, you need to go watch the old review video of this bad boy right there. Wicked cool. Look at this head sculpt on this thing. Look at that head sculpt. That thing is wicked cool. So if you haven't watched that video yet, come on, watch it, watch it, please. Walmart's got a messed up system. What? That's crazy talk. Walmart, never, come on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see here. I was hoping, uh, let's see here. Neither one of them's hopped in yet. I was hoping they would, but I haven't seen them in the chat yet. So we'll wait a few more minutes before I actually, cause two of these, these, these other two packages are um, from people that normally we see, so. Um, so what have y'all been doing? I, had, I actually had to leave work early today because we had a faucet in the kitchen decided it wanted to blow up. <laughs> it just started spewing water. So, yeah. Very true, Martha. I, here's the thing. Like, okay, when it comes to the retail stores, like my Walmarts and stuff in my local town, and Target, um, they're, they seem to be struggling pretty hard with toys and stuff. And a lot of that, I believe, is because of a lot of backlogged um, stuff as far as logistics with COVID. So let's, you know, let's, let's you know, let's try to think about things like that and don't let it get us too down. Um it happens, you know, but Martha's right. They're all different. Uh, managers, they handle them a little, a little different. They're, they're each manager, I think is in control of what they put on clearance. I mean, it's so it's, it's that Kent, we've been unboxing pen, the uh, pens. Hey, Hey, I need to see something. Kent, I need to talk to you. Cause I might actually have, I need to talk to you about your two puppies. 
Um, and hopefully, uh, Kent Pool is going to be flooding us with some awesome unboxing videos. I really hope he does. Ah, Catfish Billy, what's up? It does, Miguel, it does. It truly does. It, it depends on location. It depends on man. I mean, it depends on so many factors when it comes to retail that, and I think that's the reason why I don't really, when I go into a Walmart or I go into a Target or a Walgreens or a Hot Topic or Box, I don't care what it is, GameStop, I just, I go in just to go in and have fun. I don't go in going, oh my God, I got to get this figure. If I don't get this figure, I'm just going to die. No, I don't do that. If it happens, it happens. And if it, you know, a good example is uh, this figure right here. This bad boy right here. I, I walked into Walmart to, uh, pick up something non toy related. I just went in to pick up some, uh, craft stuff, some paint. And I just went, I'd already been to the Walmart, like, you know, a day or two earlier and there was nothing there. And this was literally the only one of this wave that was on the peg. And there he was right there in the middle. Boom. What? So, you know, it, it happens. I mean, I believe there's a lot of luck involved. <laughs> I truly believe that. Um, but I mean, I don't, parts of me don't want to find everything every time. So try out. But I mean, cause if you find everything, every time you go in there, especially if you're hunting, is there really any, I mean, I, I, I like the chase a little bit. I like the, the excitement of walking like, like with that weapon X, I just walked around the corner I did I wasn't even filming. I just walked around the corner and I was like, oh, there he was. So, you know, and I never did like it. Here's another good example. The, the Mando, Mando, uh, three and three quarter. Never saw it. Never saw it. Now I think it's like 40 bucks online. <laughs> it's insane. Never saw it. Never saw the car. Never saw the Mando. The only one that I don't even know what I did with it. I think I put it up. The uh, the trooper. That's the only one, and I think that was actually sent to me. That's why I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it. I got it put up. So, you know, it happens. That's right. <laughs> right, Jeff. Right. Uh, Charlie, I never saw the gray box either. And guess what? I ordered it online from Walmart. It's right out here. I got to do an unboxing video on it. I never saw it in the store. Of course, I spent nine weeks not hunting too. So I missed out on a lot. Um, Joan, that happens. I think, uh, I'm very fortunate that, um, I think honestly, and this is just me, this is just me. I think the way my personality is and the way I approach things, uh, I'm very, very good. I think at, um, dealing with people, especially in person. And I've seen a lot of people in electronics and I've seen a lot of people in the toy aisles and man, they act like jerks. And, and it, I think it puts a salty taste to a lot of them's, um, thought processes. But I do agree that there is some insider trading going on. <laughs> I think me and Matthias both have actually sort of witnessed that in a local group that we're part of, that there's, there is some inside, you know, Hey, you're my buddy. Help me out. Um, I personally have never asked an associate to hold anything for me. Um, but I do have associates now that know me by name. And even if there's nothing released, I always make a point to talk to them, see how they're doing. And like my R2-D2 pop, I had no idea that was dropping that day. And the associate, she like, hey, did you did you want that R2-D2 pop? We're getting ready to put them out. I'm like, what R2-D2 pop? And so she totally took me by surprise. So it's, it's, a, it's a weird little balancing act that we do with 
you know, toy collectors and retailers, and it's crazy. Uh, I've got a, another buddy of mine, um, Keegan, works up the Walmart three miles up the road. And, you know, every once in a while, he'll shoot me a text message, and, go, and he'll just let me know, hey, man, because this Walmart here had not seen any of the uh, 40th Star Wars stuff. And he'll send me a text message about once a week, it seems like, just to let me know, hey, we still haven't seen it yet. So they hadn't even got it at this Walmart. But the Walmart across town did get it. And I just missed out on it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure they do. But, again, I don't, I don't hold it at fault because you guys have heard me say this so many times. It's just a flipping toy. That's all it is. It's just a toy. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. The world still keeps spinning. The sun still rises and it still sets, you know? It's all it is. Just a toy. Uh, yeah, Chris, I mean, it happens. Uh, like I said, Keegan's about the only one that religiously, I mean, like I said, about once a week, and he, he's a really cool young man. Uh, he just got transferred over. He used to work at Target. Then he went to Walmart. And I ran into him one day. And I was uh, talking with him. And we were just, you know, just catching up. And uh, ever since then, you know, like I said, me and him, we just sort of hit it off. He subscribes to my channel. And we talk about stuff. And I actually had him on one of my videos. That's how we actually first met. He's actually on one of my videos. Uh but like I said, every once in a while, you know, like I said, once a week, once every couple of weeks, they'll shoot me a text message or a Facebook message and just say, hey, you know, I know you're, you're are you still looking for these? Because we ain't got them yet. So, <sighs> which exclusive catfish? <laughs> Ren, I know that three and three quarter Mando, that FOMO'd you like crazy, brother. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, I haven't, I, I never saw it. I didn't get it. And to be honest with you, I don't care. It just wasn't meant to be. It was not meant to be. If it was meant to be, I would have found one. I darn sure ain't going to pay 40 or 50 bucks for one. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nay, nay, say I. Nay, nay. Catfish. Now, here's the thing. I'm on the fence with the medita meditation chamber. I like the meditation chamber, but here's my problem with it. What's up, Christina? Here's my problem. As soon as I saw it, the first thing that came in my mind is there's got to be some LED lights put in it, which means I'm going to have to put holes in it. I'm going to have to figure out a way because it needs some lights up in the top of it. And I'm sitting there trying to think that I want to spend 30 bucks on something that I'm going to modify. And I have several stores that have them. So parts of me, I don't think they're going to like, number one, they're not flying off the shelf. Um, so I, I'm sort of playing a little bit of a long game to see if maybe I can get one a little cheaper because that is what I want to do to it. I want to modify it and put some LED lights in it because I think that would look cool. Um, probably going to do some white lights is what I'm wanting to do. I, I don't know. I just think it'd look cool. It's just hard for me right now to, to, to spend 30 bucks on something and take a knife to it or a hot glue gun or something like that. Yeah, it looks great. It looks really good. It looks awesome. But I've also been thinking about the same thing with my Funko HQ and I haven't decided yet. I haven't really spent a lot of time looking at it up close, but I always thought it'd be cool if the the light, the windows in the building, if they were translucent enough to where you could put lights in the the whole inside of it to where when you turned it on, it would light the lights up in the building. I just thought that'd be cool. Chris, if it makes you feel better, I've been waiting on my uh, mud trooper from Sideshow to shit for about a year and a half. <laughs> If it makes you feel better. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna open, I'm open this other box up. So it's already opened up because it took me by surprise when I got it. Uh, but this is from G-Man. So he's like, dear Greg, I was watching one of your live streams and you have to talk about Star Wars minis. 
uh, that you might buy some more to get Poe. I think I have the one you're looking for, and at this point, I decided to send you some more. I hope you have fun with enjoy them. I also like uh, like to say I truly enjoy your videos and live streams. Keep up the good work. Your fan, uh, Gabrielle, a.k.a. G-Man on YouTube. Sorry for the ink color. My printer ran out of black ink. Boom, right there. And this actually just, it surprised me. This was cool. Um, so we're going to look at some of these bad boys. We're going to look at them. All right, so I got two of these, which is great. He sent me uh, two BB-8s right there. Boom. Oh, wait a minute. Let me get his eyeballs. Boom. BB right there. He sent me this one. This one, I'm going to say this one last because this one actually got me a little confused. Uh, we got a, a fin right there. Looks cool. Got to straighten his head up, I think. Got to get him. There we go. Boom. And I really like this one, uh, Luke. That one actually looks really cool. I like the the detail on it. Check out that backpack. These things are cool. Uh, and he sent me a Chewy with a Porg. <laughs> Porg. And he sent me a Phasma right there. Check her out. Just wicked cool right there. And he sent me, we got a Poe right there. Boom. Now here's something cool. All right. And I got to figure something out here because... If I, I, this, so I got a Jawa, right? Which I love this one. This is just amazingly cool. I'd love to have about three more of these. This was cool. But check this out. Doink. He's got pegs. There's pegs. So when, when I saw this, this was actually unpegged in the box. And I was like, what? So... None of these others have pegs. They're glued. And I'm like, come on. Because I, when I take them off, I always have to boil them and then trim them off. But I'm like, really? Come on. What's up, Doc? What's up, Seth? It, this is the way you do it. Pegs, peg holes. Boom. You got it on the base. Now you can take it and photograph it really cool. <laughs> and you don't got to do all the work. So now, um, yeah. So I'm probably going to, depending on the weather, I'm actually going to take this little Jawa out and shoot him at the old TIE Fighter diorama because I really dig this, this little Jawa. I've never seen this one before. This is cool. Boom. What's up, Doc? Uh, Commander Bly Saint, what, uh, in reference to the Black Series, uh, Hot Toy, Pop, but anyway, G-Man, thank you so much for that, um, I just wish they, oh, I had to peg on them. It takes like four minutes of boiling water to really get these off. I prefer them without these bases. Um, that's just me though, because I like to photograph them. Just saying. Um, Black Series. Team Collector, what's up? Yeah, Doc, uh, ours have actually uh, started opening back up. Uh, they do limit five to uh, a store at, in a, at a time. Um, very fortunate. I'm happy for them because those employees are now fully back to work, uh, which I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for. Um, hopefully in California. California, 
You know, this whole thing has really got just everything messed up socially, uh, financially, mentally, everything. G-Man, thank you, brother. Are you serious? That's the way it came? See, that's the way they all need to be. They all need to be like this. Pop them off. That way you can photograph them, and if you want to pop them back on, you can. But seriously, G-Man, thank you so, so much for that, my friend. That was awesome. The, the note was cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Boom. Um, what's up, Mama said, pop you out? Um, just catching up, just catching up. Oh man, I hate I hate to hear that it's shutting down. I hate I mean, I am very very I am pro GameStop. I, I am pro GameStop. I always will be pro GameStop. Um, it's not about a price thing. It's about supporting shops. You guys have heard me say this so many times. I'm a huge fan of supporting shops because without shops. We're just sitting here in our houses and we're just ordering boxes. We're not getting out, we're not meeting people, we're not interacting with other collectors because that's where people meet. They meet at shops, you know? Um, I mean, that's how me and Matias met, me and Jeff met. That's how, you know, me, Ryan and Kent, we've done hunts together. I mean, this is all because of things that we have in common, which are toys, but also the shops we go to. And guess what? GameStop's one of those shops. It's just like Toys R Us. You know, I miss Toys R Us so much. So, so much. You know, because it, I met some really good people at Toys R Us. And so I'm just, I'm just saying. I understand it's, I understand it's a, cor a corporation, but it's still a shop. It's still a shop. You go there. And that's the point I'm trying to make. Brick and mortar. Those are places that we, as collectors, hobbyists, whether it be gaming or whatever, you have a place to talk and a place to meet people that share the same things. So that's what I'm talking about. I understand it's a corporation. I've been on this planet for a while. I get that. But at the end of the day, so was Toys R Us. And... We all had some good times at Toys R Us. So I'm just saying, yeah, you might pay a little bit more, you know, but if they, if they've got that figure for five bucks more, but it takes you two hours of driving to find it, you know, just show them some love. That's all I'm saying. Be, be a little sympathetic because if we don't have our places to go, then this is our life right here. Behind computer screens. That's it. That's that's what we got left. So, yeah, I'm. What you got some in Texas? I knew there's some in Canada. What? What? Texas? Now I'm really right. Ren, right there. Me and Ren met in person during my live stream at GameStop. That's right. I did a live stream like three hours at GameStop. Yeah. KB Toys, Joan, KB Toys. I vaguely remember KB Toys. Vaguely, but I do remember them because they used to be in our mall. But I do. I miss Toys R Us. I miss it like crazy, like bad crazy. And because, like I said, I met, I met like I said, Matias and... Those, uh, we spent many of <laughs> just saying, I want it to be like it was. <sighs> Man, that Dr. Pepper's actually pretty good. But anyway, so I got something else here and I actually got a request on this one. So this is from, um, Mr. Imagination. And, uh, yeah, he actually has a request on this. 
come to Cali. <laughs> I, I was stationed in Cali for a while. San Diego, Oceanside, Camp Pendleton. All right, so I don't know why yet, but but John, he, he wanted me to wear my heavy Mandalorian helmet when I opened this. Sam, do you live in Texas? Just wondering. <laughs> uh, I'm not for sure why he did, but uh, I'm a man of requests. So um, I'm putting the old helmet on. I don't, I don't know why. There'll probably be an echo because I got the mic right here. But we got the helmet on. I don't even know what's in here. We got that. And we got this. I think that's it. I hope there's not a letter in here because I won't be able to read it. All right, let's take a look. Oh, it's some artwork. Oh, snap. Dude, this is sick. Check this out. That is dope. Sorry for the echo, but look at this. That is sick. That is so cool. Wow. God, that is talent right there, people. The Greg Alorian. I don't know what this. Oh. All right, look. I'm trying here. <laughs> I'm sincerely trying. This is taped up so good. I'm just trying not to cut myself. <laughs> we got pins. We got pins. What do we got here? Oh, boom. Check that out. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's going to get framed. Ooh, well, Tashami Nation. I'm trying to see. I think this is, I can't tell through the visor. I think that's a guard. Boom. Bam. Helmet is off. Oh, this is sick. Oh yeah, these three pins are wicked cool. Wicked! Right there. Check that out. Yes! Yeah, if you're, this one I made, and then I've got a, a, another Mando helmet over there, and then I'm, if you notice, the Lone Wolf Custom helmet is gone because it's, it's down at the toy bench. But check this out. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. I don't, oh man, I don't know if I've got it up here or not. I might have my mats downstairs. Let me look. Cause I've been moving stuff around. So I don't know if I've got my mats. We would mat it right now if I can find one. We're actually in the other room right now. How cool is that? Oh yeah, right there, there we go. We're actually in the photography studio. Nope, 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 they're downstairs. Well, poo. I'll have to mat it. I'll have to mat it later. I actually have, uh, I'm back, I'm back. Um, dude, John, this is sick. Man, that is, that. one more time, that is talent right there. That is dope. Hmm, see, this is, 
you can't put a price tag on stuff like this ever ever i've got some frames in there but i don't know if i want to put it in those frames got some cool pins wow john thank you mr mr imagination he's on youtube um let me see if i can find his link real quick really cool guy He's actually started doing some stuff with um, some uh, photography, which is really cool. Uh, here we go. Boom. 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 Right there. Show him some love. Show him some love. You know, he's, he's not a big channel, um, he's, he's, but he's got some really cool stuff. He's got some art. Um, let me make sure I got the link right. Yeah, I got the link right. I think he's got, uh, there's all his playlist. But yeah, just check him out. He's a really cool dude. Like I said, his artwork's great. Um, but he does some hunt videos and some tour reviews. He's like I said, he's just started getting into some toy photography. But uh, really like him. He's, he's a really genuine dude. But yeah, show him some love. Um, oh, dude, there he is right there. Boom. Boom. Right there, my friend. Right there. Boom. Thank you so much. This, we, just un, we just undid it. I was actually in the room looking for a frame. Thank you so much. This is crazy. Yeah, get over and subscribe to him. Give him some love. And the pins, dude, these are sick. These are sick. I love them, dude. Yeah, I was actually, I thought I had my mats up here uh, for my frame, for my photos, but they're actually downstairs. But yeah, dude, you, I, I can't even begin to describe how much talent that is. And wow. That's just, that's insane. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, he's been doing some uh, toy photography video. I watched that uh, a couple of days ago. It was a really cool one. Um, I think his latest video, video is like a mail call for, uh, I think he's getting into the Hot Toys game and some Bandai. So uh, yeah, going down that Hot Toy rabbit hole. I'm telling you, Hot Toy rabbit hole. <laughs> no i did not do the murph challenge uh when it comes to things like that dude man my, my knees my knees just won't let me do a lot of that stuff anymore because yeah no i wore it i had it on when i opened everything i had it on I, you can ask everybody i had the helmet on when i unboxed everything I had to, I did finally take it off because, um, I couldn't see that great out of it, but I couldn't make out what that pin was. And I wanted to see this stuff up close, but yes, sir, you did request it. And I did wear it and I have a plethora of witnesses. <laughs> uh, I've got a blaster stuck in my head. Oh yeah. My, my, my blaster. Oh, yeah, I finally finished weathering it. I finally finished weathering it. Boom. As, as my buddy Kent Poole says, pew, 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 pew. Yeah, you see my little mistakes right there? <laughs> I was, so I was weathering it with some uh, rubbing buff. And <laughs> I had some on this finger. And I was holding it like this. And I was... Then I got up in here and I was like, oh man. So now I got to get some black rubbing buff and fill that out. But actually, I'm actually going to, I just picked up a foam drill. Uh, it's really, really cool. It's designed to um, cut holes in foam. And I'm actually going to use one of the bits. Uh, it's a hand operated. And I'm actually going to cut a hole in here. So, uh, but yeah, there we go. Got it weathered up. I think it looks pretty good. 
phone. Oh, and in case y'all didn't know it, so um, my 10K giveaway, uh, I don't know if you guys know how many of you guys follow on social media and stuff like that, but the main prize that was in it was my Iron Man Mark I helmet that I made. That was the main 10K giveaway prize. The uh, You guys, I know if you follow me on Instagram and stuff like that, you've seen it. Um, but that was what I wanted to do for the 10K is actually create something and something that I made and give it away. So in case you didn't know it, that is what was in the box along with some pops and some stickers and some other stuff. So, yep, John, you're going down that hole, brother. You're going down it deep. <laughs> going down it deep. Oh my goodness. That's right. Hit that like button. Let's hit it. I, like I said, I just wanted to do something you know, um, and, and you never know, 20K, somebody might get a blaster. I don't know. Somebody might get a heavy Mandalorian helmet. I don't know. You don't know what you're going to get with my giveaways. But for these giveaways here, I really wanted something special. I actually signed the inside of the helmet. It was a one of one. Um, so there's no, I, I don't have another one here. I'm actually going to make me another one, but that was a one in one. Um, I signed it and everything on the inside of the helmet. So, uh, yeah, you know, you might get some blasters, some pistols. I'm just saying, you don't know what's going to happen on the channel unless you subscribe to the channel and got the notifications on. You don't know what's going to happen. I'm just saying. It's a wild card. <laughs> Coronavirus. I'm actually, what's funny about that is uh, the, um, I've actually got some templates for some mass you know uh i think from um uh, uh, uh dragon ball and uh i got a couple of them that are from dragon ball z uh then i've got i haven't made any of those yet but i just you know i just i love working on this phone it's it's fun it's it's just great it's great i love making things i don't know if i'll ever make one of those again that thing was Whew, that was a bear, but I did learn, so I might make another one of those. I might. I've not seen that one yet, Thomas. I've not seen that one yet. But how many people here took advantage of the GameStop um, $14 two-packs? Because... I did. Just saying. Uh, what? Third Sentinel? <laughs> Are we going to have a Sentinel battle here? <laughs> it could happen. Mr. Imagination versus Kent Pool Live. Sentinel Battle 2020. I tell you, they had those those um, those two packs for uh, you know 14 bucks a piece. I bought three of them for what one of these normally costs, but you know, I mean they're normally like 49, 50 bucks, but right there, 14 bucks. 14 bucks and 14 bucks. So, um, 
The Shredder two pack and the Batman two pack, it was still regular price, but I mean, these look actually actually really cool. The Alfred is my favorite so far out of these. I really like Alfred. He just looks cool. Yeah, they were, and then here's a, here, now see, here's another thing. So 14 bucks, like 14.99, plus I'm a pro card member, plus I got a military discount. So they wound up being, I think about 1270 a piece, something like that. Can't beat that. <laughs> Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Um, yes and no, Carlos. I actually spent all my money. Even that, buy one, get one half off. I mean, they're, they're, you get a lot. There's a lot of accessories with these things. I mean, there's great detail. You get a lot with them. Um, but it's like the Marvel Legends three packs. A lot of those are 69 bucks. Um, Dante, I do and I have, but I don't do it much anymore. But yeah, actually going back to the uh, Murph question earlier, uh, I actually built my own jump boxes um, for CrossFit. So I can, I can sling some wood. I can make some stuff. Bag sales are good. <laughs> Dean, these these WWE questions are killing me, man. I, I told I don't know when the last time I watched WWE. Female superstar finish of all time. I'm trying to even think of a WWE <laughs> female wrestler. <laughs> That's good. I love it though, man. I love it. I love it. Keeps me, keeps me on my toes. That's what you do. I'm about to start going back into some history, you know, Charlotte figure eight. <laughs> now, Kim Pool knows his wrestling. I used to know my wrestling, but that was like 30 years ago. Really? I honestly, I didn't even look at the promos, but I will tell you this. I do like Alfred, but yeah, you're right. It's a white cup, but I mean, there's lots of accessories. And I mean, we got Michelangelo has two extra sets of hands. We got numb chucks, got two slices of pizza. Alfred's got three extra sets of hands, coffee cup. There's a skateboard. I mean, you get a, you, you, you get a lot in these. I mean, there's, there's a lot. So. It's, but like I said, 50 bucks, that's, uh, cause now you're talking 200 bucks for all four, but hey, 14 bucks a piece, psh, no brainer, no brainer. But anyway, guys, I think we're gonna wrap things up. We got some stuff unboxed. G-Man, thank you so much for these awesome Mr. Minis. John, man, I can't even begin to tell you how much I appreciate this fine work of art. I am definitely gonna go downstairs get this thing matted up tonight might even try to get a picture up on instagram tonight because this is wicked cool thank you so much for this that just uh dude you got some mad talent mad talent skills right there my friend amazing uh but yeah that's gonna be it for the stream tonight um Hope everybody has a great rest of the evening. Hope y'all have a great rest of the week. Um, we will be at the toy bench on Saturday. Probably going to be working on my lone wolf helmet. Uh, but I also have some stuff I'm going to open up on Saturday too. Just so you know, I'm going to be opening up uh, two, four, six, I think nine boxes Saturday. Nine. Live. <laughs> But anyway, guys, seriously, though, thank you for all the love and support. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. This is probably one of my funnest nights of the week as I get to come hang out with all of you and chat and just catch up. But this is awesome. Love y'all, and I hope y'all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the evening. And I always remember toys and awesome artwork. Refresh your soul.
And we'll see you live again on Saturday. Got a hunt video dropping tomorrow. Check that out. We're going to have some more videos as well throughout the week. But guys, have a great night. And I'll talk to you later.